What's up guys, Sal here. So all eyes wait for Samsung to unveil the Galaxy S10 in February 2019. We know a great deal about this device, but a flurry of major leaks over the past few days have now taught us a lot more. Ice Universe, who's been one of the more prolific and accurate leakers in recent memory, has published a new video where he's putting the Galaxy S9 Plus, Note 9, and Oppo Find X inside the case of the Galaxy S10 Plus, basically showing the form factor of the Galaxy S10 Plus versus the mentioned devices. And as you can see, even with a bigger display, the Galaxy S10 Plus's case fits perfectly on the S9 Plus, which means the overall dimension of the S10 Plus is gonna remain the same as the S9 Plus, even with the increase of 0.24 inches of screen size. By the way, the Galaxy Note 9 couldn't get into the case. We also have the screen protector of the S10 compared to that of the Galaxy S9 courtesy of Mobile Fun. Interesting part of this comparison video is that the Galaxy S10 appears to have less pronounced curved edges compared to the S9. Samsung has been making the curves subtle with each new generation of the Galaxy S devices, and the Galaxy S10 is no different, I guess, which is a great news for people who don't like curved displays. So Mobile Fund, which is a reputable online retailer, reports that the Galaxy S10 could come with a screen protector built-in. It says that all the four handsets in Samsung's Galaxy S10 range will come with the screen protector pre-installed, which could be a godsend to any butterfingers dropping their expensive new phones before they've had time to buy a screen protector. If accurate, that should be a great news to people who are buying this phone. After all, these phones are made of glass and they can be damaged quite easily. Personally, I don't like putting a case or screen protector on phones, but I can understand why people want to do it. Phones are getting so expensive these days, and naturally, people want to protect their investment, so it's nice of Samsung to provide this built-in. By the way, I have no way of confirming this information, but Mobile Fund did provide plenty of accessory details about unreleased phones well before their commercial arrival, so yeah, they're worth giving our attention to. This is the worst day of my life. It's the worst day of your life so far.